brings it up Go. over the 10 metre line, so they come out to the right. Here's Rahari. Just a short drop off ball to Andrade. Really nice deception in the line from York, no. but St Helens really? level to it on that occasion. So now they come to the right again. Rahari looking for Carrie Roberts, who goes over against her former side and opens the scoring here in York. Goal. Well done. And York Great. sensing the opportunity to go back to back as Stanley brings us out to the right. Roberts choose to pass it on this occasion. I think she's in in the corner. The referee's just having a chat of his touch judge, but the tray is scored. Put it under her arm and try and muscle over herself. The numbers please. left here, Lewis. Numbers left, no. Tara Jane Stanley goes through the hands. It should be a certain try. Well, it's Renouf. It should be in, and she does get it down. So they've scored two on the right edge. They come to the left-hand side for the first time. Oh, Motta's head with options on both sides, but goes to the numbers on the right. Gaskin, again, just thought about that ball over the top, but keeps it in hand. This is the fourth, but it's six again. So the pressure continues to build. Motta's head goes from dummy half, and she's over. Referee just has a quick check, gives the try. The York Valkyrie have come out this second half and, and done exactly to St. Uh, uh, to given exactly the same amount of possession to St Helens as they gave to them in the first half and they've paid dearly for it. And it, it we said the three missed goal kicks could be really important, didn't we, from if, if, if we kick one of those... Matty Smith's words, I'm sure, still ringing in their ears when they came out from the break. And Is that yeah. the momentum again? It's a funny old, thing. Funny old thing, isn't it? And the kick is good. So as we mentioned, because these conversions could become very significant. Square. This Hold is it. the fourth, St Helens. Oh. 10 metres out, but it's a slower play the ball. York have had a chance to get set. Gaskin drops it back on the inside to Kroll running a line. She's brought down three, Five. four metres away, and this Move is the last, so a big are. kick coming in here. Significant enter this set. Gaskin brings it up to the line, line. then out the back. They're going to keep the ball in hand. Sahili out to Woozy. She's got Burke who brings it in and scores. A really well worked try in the end from St Helens. They kept their cool. They knew the numbers would be there, and Leah Burke yeah. scores. She finds a 50-metre break downfield. The ball spread from left to right, then back back from right to left on play five. Faye Gaskin just sums up the situation. She doesn't want to kick it. She finds a half-back partner out the back. It's a great pass from Amy Taylor to the edge. It's just wonderful hands. And then that last pass, how she dragged that in. Wow, we what skill that is. Yeah, well, the, 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 the pass is behind her, isn't it? The pass is behind yeah. her from Woolsey. Oh. My Alex Stimson. Wait, y'all, come on. Go. Back. These are good. They can, they're not doing anything, too. Really good line speed ball. from York to restrict the metres oh, there. Oh. And it's going to be a penalty. Oh, that is really a coach killer. Taking her time over this one. It's an important one. She steps up, strikes it well, straight through the middle. Play it on the mark, Savannah. So York. Starting this set from deep inside their own half, with Gale just keeping the ball in hand. Three! I Open think that square. would probably be the tactic from a Valkyrie perspective. I can't imagine they're going to look to expand this out too much, but there is an error. I think she's made the error. Wait. I don't okay. think there's anything in that other than the error. It's going to be all about composure now as Woozy finds a huge gap and it's through. She's got Stanley chasing her down. Is she going to make it to the corner? She will. And straight from the scrum. St Helens level the game, but she may Watch have scored try. the try. Mm. Yeah, the error from settles this game. This she always been very good in the game, but that error is very costly. Yeah, that's isn't it? it. That moment that just passing to herself, yeah. the misdirection, and then Woozy flying through the gap. She and be able to walk off or anything. Yeah, yeah. She's right, um, right. she's no got away from some sure quick players there. You can you know, start Stanley in pursuit. Yeah. Yeah, just one player attracted in, right, and, and just, Carrie Roberts just gets yeah, a little no bit too high defensively. She's just slightly further in as well, so that could play into her hands as she steps up. It's up. And so are the flags at St Helens, edging to the lead with five minutes to go. Huge moment in this game as we come out to the right with Marshall. Could be the numbers available on the right-hand side here as Roberts goes to the line. Roberts gets her second of the afternoon and York take the lead back. Right on the sideline. Probably more suited to her as a left oh, footer. What a kick that is. And she's absolutely nailed it.